Hey folks, John Peterson here and today I've got a quick little tip for you Lightroom Classic users. Now this feature may be in the regular Lightroom or the Lightroom, what used to be the Lightroom CC, but I use the Classic version. I like the desktop version. It's what I've used for years and years and years and I just continue to use that. But today I wanted to show you a quick little feature that you may or may not have seen in the develop module of Lightroom. Now, if you are out in the field and you use your camera, you know that dust spots are a problem. Dust spots, water spots, uh, sometimes lens flares. There's all sorts of cleanup that we could do to our images to present them the best possible way. Now, I'm a, I'm a stickler for cleaning up dust spots and tonal anomalies and that type of stuff because anything that grabs our subconscious attention as we look at a photograph has the potential to distract us from the message or the beauty of the photograph. So I really take a lot of care and consideration in cleaning up my dust spots. For years I've used a plugin from Tony Kuiper, the TK panels, and they, he's had a feature in there in the last little bit that's that was around cleaning dust and, and it was a macro that would put several layers on and really help illuminate dust spots well for the last couple features uh releases of lightroom they've had a very very similar type of feature built into the application and i want to show you how that works all right let's jump in and take a look at a couple images and see how this new feature works Obviously, dust spots are, are really evident when we have a clear sky. Here's a shot that I took in the Palouse area of Eastern Washington. And one of the first things that I do when I edit an image is I clean up the image. I get to a good starting point. And part of that good starting point is removing dust spots. Now, if I look at the image just like this, there's a there's a spot down here that I can see and there's a little bit of a, a mess going on right here, maybe one spot right here. So I could go ahead and clean those up, but that will miss a lot of dust and spots that even if I can't see it at this resolution and at this size, is evident in the photograph and I want to do the best job possible. So the next step for cleaning up spots is to actually zoom in and scroll around the image. There's a little dust spot that I didn't see previously and I will just go through this whole image and scroll around and try to visually identify dust spots. And I, you know, I don't see a whole, there's a little thing right there. So there's a few dust spots around in this image. Now, if I really, really wanted to do the best job possible, here's where this new feature comes in. So I'm using Lightroom Classic 14.2. And if I go to this healing area, you know the healing brush that we have here if I click on that here's where I have my three spot removal clone stamp tools that kind of stuff but there is a wonderful feature down here at the bottom and I don't know if you've seen this and it says visualize spots when I click this box the system puts an overlay on the image and what it really does is it boosts the contrast and it's looking for edges it's an edge detection function that helps to illum illuminate spots in your photograph. So just initially set at the default setting, I see the one spot I have here. This little one down here didn't show up. But if I use this slider, this is sort of a sensitivity slider. And if I crank this all the way to the right, look at all those dust spots that I have in the sky. 
And then from here, I can continue with this mask overlay on, I can continue to use my healing tools. So I come in here and just start cleaning up all of these areas that I see. And even if I couldn't see them immediately with my naked eye at the, at the resolution and size that I was viewing, um, I know that I'm doing good for this image. It's going to make a difference to the overall presentation of this. So I've gone through and I've cleaned up all of these and I can turn off this if I want to, but I don't really need to because I know through that visualized spots area, I've gotten them all taken care of. Make sense? Well, let's go ahead and jump over to another image. This one was shot in Greenland. And just initially, this is a little bit of an interesting shot. I've got a lot of texture in the water. I've got a little bit of texture and interest in the sky. So, so spots might be a little hard to see. Initially, I see a spot here. I see a water drop here. I see something up here that doesn't look quite right. And I think one spot here. If I zoom in, I can scroll around a little bit and I don't see a ton more. That's okay. Let's go and use our visualize spots tool. And initially I'm cranked up to a hundred percent. Look and you know, look what I see. The one thing with this visualize spot tool is that if you have a somewhat noisy image, that noise will come through in your visualized spot overlay. And that's what we're seeing here. That's what all this white snow is about is a little bit of noise. So what I would recommend is to do your noise reduction before you do the visualized spots function. But even from here, I can go through and see this anomaly up here. I'll go do that. I don't see that little spot that appeared over here. This might be one where I need to go in by hand and just do, there's a water drop here. There's a little spot but down here. So this is an area or a, an image where I needed to do things a little bit more manually based upon the actual image, not on that high contrast screen. I see another spot up here and another spot here and I'm done. Beautiful. Now the other thing with dust spots and spots in general is that when you have a really smooth tonal area, so let's say an overcast sky, the dust spots, the sensor spots uh, on your lens or on your sensor really can become evident. Just like a clear sky, a cloudy sky can pose the same sorts of challenges. And I don't really see any dust spots up here that are a problem. But let's go ahead and use our Visualize Spots tool. Cranked up to 100% and there are a couple of dust spots. So even though this was a fairly clean image, I want to come in and clean up those two dust spots. And there we go. Well, there you go. There's my quick tip for you for an easy way to clean up your dust spots. Now, I know you care about your images and you take great pride in your images. And if we as the artists apply careful care and consideration to how we process them, including cleaning up dust spots, that care and consideration comes through to the people that see our photographs and they see that we take great pride in presenting our work. So I encourage you to do the due diligence to do a very thorough job of cleaning up your dust spots. So if you like this video, please feel free to subscribe. If you're not already, tickle the bell, give it a like, do all that kind of great stuff. And I look forward to seeing you again very, very soon in my next video. All right, folks, have a great day. Bye-bye.